So what this is, is this is the, this is just one of the pages on, on the taste trade platform. But what I was showing you before is um, just, just to give you a quick little, you know, sneak peek at um, this is volatility. And you, you can see it's, it's at the lower most recent range, but this number here where it is trading around 30, the VIX is trading just under 30 right now. That is twice as high as it was, you know, a year ago. And even though it's come down off this spike, which was from about a couple of weeks ago, um, it's, it's really high relative. So what I was trying to say is just that when, when you have high volatility, you get very big expected moves. Let me show you this for a second. This is the SPY, which is the spiders, which most people, um, you know, it's kind of the, it's kind of the, 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 the standard piece of the, the, the S&P 500. It's kind of where we go to for all our research and, and looking at expected move and stuff like that. And when you go to August right now, you can see the volatility, just what the VIX is, right around 30. But the expected move is 21. A year ago, if we went to August, which was 45 days, uh, um, this is last August, Fausto. If mm -hmm. we did last August, the expected move would have been about $10, higher or lower, about wow. $10. Now, wow. the, it actually probably would have been a little bit less. It probably would have been about $8 or $9. Yes, probably now, less. now, the expected move is $21. This is just in the... That means the expected move in the S&Ps, which are the futures over here, is 200 points. And that's just for the next 45 days. And so we haven't seen an extended range like this of high volatility since the end of 2008, 2009. So, I mean, when you, when you mentioned before opportunity, you know, opportunity comes in, opportunity looks a little bit weird when you see it because what opportunity really is, is it's expected move. And so we are 2x the expected move we've been for the last 12 years, which means that no matter how you want to play this market, upside or downside, and it's likely not to contract that much from where we are right now, there is going to be plenty of opportunity for you. Hmm. So, what's been, um, so what's been extremely volatile uh, regarding about, you know, like, I mean, we know summers are always usually slow, but obviously we're not having that issue. But what... It, does this tell us anything? What's going to happen? Probably is expecting the second the second wave coming around September October. Is it well, showing anything actually, on Actually, actually, what's interesting is if you look at November expiration here. I'll just highlight this for a second. Right, that's what I was talking oh, about. Yeah, I'm. This is November expiration, and and if you look on the right hand side, if we look at November expiration, we're talking about a forty dollar move, which is a four hundred dollar move in the S and P's. So if you look at the S and P's here, this is the these are E S options, which are the S and P five hundred, which are the most actively traded futures contract. Um, that's the E-mini S&Ps. They traded 1.3 million contracts today. And if you go out and you look at the um, November contract here, which is just after the November elections. So it's this one here. The expected move is about four, it says it's $410, higher or lower. So we're currently trading at 3,100. That means the marketplace is looking from 2,700 to 3,500. That is your expected move. And given the fact that we had, you know, a pretty much a crash and then we had a downside crash and then an upside crash back to back, because I would argue that that upside move was just as violent as the downside move, mm -hmm. that given the fact that we had both of those, Fausto, in, Mar in March and then again in, you know, April, May, April, I would March. say that 400 point range between now and November is good. Like, I think that's a good number. Like, I don't think that's a number that you, that you necessarily want to bet on it going outside of. So I like that 2,700 to 3,500 range. I like it a lot. 